another edition of ESPN with your host, Adil Barry, co-host Jacob, Raul, and Luke. Um, we are the sports journalists of the program, and we hope you enjoyed this installation of our show. Um, first of all, we want to talk about the NBA. Golden State won their second game yesterday. They're in a 2-2 tie with the Spurs. Right? That's pretty crazy. Right. I didn't expect them. I didn't expect them to go this far. We've got the Bulls, we've got the Knicks, and we've got the Oklahoma City series. Um, the Pacers are up. The Grizzlies are up. We know that the um, Spurs are tied with the um, Warriors. Tremendous game yesterday. These are really, they're shaping up to be great series. So what do you think about these? What do you you think know, about I'm, I'm actually very surprised by the uh, Warriors. I mean, I never expected them to even make it past the Nuggets. I mean, George Carl this year with the Nugget, coach of the Nuggets, really did a great job. He deserved the uh, coach of the year. Um, yeah. I mean, like the Warriors have just been phenomenal. Uh, Stephen Curry, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Curry, not that rather, um, has been very great, and I think, I think after this season, he's definitely going to be a top five player. I'm surprised about the Knicks. I mean, this is just disappointing. I mean, I, I mean, looking at that playoff series, they were the second seed. I mean, off the Celtics. Yeah, they beat the Celtics comfortably. I mean, they ran into trouble. Ran into trouble, patch, ran into trouble but they ended, you know. Good game six win away, but I mean, come on, Tyson Chandler. I mean, he's the former defensive he's a player bit of the rusty. year. He's he's he missed against he missed Roy Hibbert. Games. I mean, you're a veteran. You're a champion. You have done it. Oh, remember you, though. Remember, Roy Hibbert is an all star. He's an all star, but I mean, the other thing with Roy Hibbert is one. the Knicks haven't encountered somebody who's seven feet tall. Roy yeah, Hibbert's sure. seven foot two. Okay. Roy Hibbert's seven foot two, and not only that, you saw in game four or in game three rather. Roy Hibbert has an excellent left hand. It's not only Roy Hibbert. I mean, look at J.R. Smith. I mean, he, he's playing awful. I don't think the right now. There. He's taking the worst shots I've ever I mean, seen. Ever I mean, him and Melo. Ever since he started running his worst mouth. Worst shots I mean, I've ever just, seen. I he mean, hasn't backed it up at all. I mean, like, I mean, like, I went to game one of the Celtics-Knicks, and I was in my seat. I was just, it was just so bad. I, I mean, mean, I mean, what do you think about this Memphis series? Memphis, oh, I, I, just, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty... Sorry. With Russell Westbrook going down, now we see Oklahoma yeah. City. Yeah. Yeah. People don't like Russell Westbrook for some reason. But, but he's like the facilitator of them exactly. all. Exactly. Kevin Durant can do it all. Indeed. He may take he a lot can. of shots, but they need him. It spreads the floor. Exactly. Um, they can penetrate, and that leaves Durant open. Without him. Mentally, without him, without him. Without mentally him. too, Kevin Durant, Durant needs him. Bottom line is, you can't the replace... The team. You can't yeah. replace 8.9 assists per game, and you cannot replace... 22 points a game exactly. with the energy that he brings. Exactly. That's well, about I'm going to go off and talk about another point guard in the town. Let's talk about the Bulls and Derrick Rose being out. Like, that's how, I, mean, I mean, look at Nate Robinson. He I exactly step it up. Okay, I, I mean, okay, okay. okay. Nate Robinson has been tremendous. I mean, I mean, even though he's been sick, I mean, the whole Bulls team has been sick. I mean, yeah. he threw up on the sidelines. But, um, but what I want to talk about is Derrick Rose. I, I mean, he's fine. I mean, he's coming off of a torn ACL. But look at Iman Shumpert. He came back in the middle of the season, and he suffered the same injury. But if Iman Shumpert doesn't sports, have to live up to the if standards. If we transfer sports, we go on to He's ACLs. playing in New York. New York is... Jacob, Jacob. If, we took, if, we, if we transfer to torn ACLs, we're talking about Adrian Peterson? That's true. Coming off the best season. Torn, and torn in MCL, too. You know what exactly. I want to say? He had one of the best seasons. And Derek career. wrote... What I want to say is our colleagues at ESPN, Bill Simmons and Magic Johnson were talking about, if you play Derek Rose for one minute in Game 5 or Game 4, just one minute. He doesn't have to score any points. Just you play for floor. one minute. Yeah. The entire complexion of the game yes. changes. That's it's it. Just the mentality. Now, look, look at him. him. Oh, oh, look at David Lee. Energizes the, the team. Exactly. And it gives him confidence the crowd. that he can do it. Exactly. David what? Lee tore his hip flexor game one. Now let's move our attentions to the NFL draft. Seven rounds of whatever the heck you want to call it. Good picks, bad picks, okay picks, whatever. Who do you think was a winner of this draft? 12th overall, Oakland Raiders selected DJ Hayden, cornerback out of the University of Houston. Great, great pick. Uh, he has a great story, and he could play. What happened was, during practice, he was hit, and he tore his inferior vena cava in his heart. He could have died. This was a very fatal injury, but he survived. He was minutes from, pass from uh, dying. But... On the field, he is tremendous. He can intercept the ball, he can tackle, he can do everything. He's quick. Yes. I love the Rams pick at 8, Tavon Austin. They traded up for him. 
um, got the Bills pick, and I think he was the most explosive player in the draft. I think this is going to be a great addition, a great guy that Sam Bradford can throw to. I mean, he, Sam Bradford has been struggling the last couple of seasons, but Tavon Austin, I mean, he made Geno Smith who Geno Smith was at West Virginia. And I mean, I mean, this guy, he can hit yards after the tackle. I mean, he's amazing. I mean, I just and also, don't forget, they also drafted his fellow wide receiver, Stedman Bailey. Exactly. So I think it's going to be a low. So I think the Rams are very com comfortable. The chemistry you know, like, is there. Yeah, the chemistry is there. <coughs> okay, well, I want to I want to talk about the team, the Vikings. I think they had like a I think they had a pretty good first round actually. They they had they had what, three picks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the first pick, Sheriff Floyd. He was supposed to go third overall, and they got him what twenty fourth. And the Vikings they really need their defense because yeah. they need to step yes. it up. Yeah. Defensive tackle, they'll fill the lane. And then I want to talk about their next pick. It was Xavier Rhodes, cornerback. Their secondary, they really need some help with everyone gone. And they, they traded, they actually traded up, they traded with the New, New England Patriots. Yeah. They traded away like a second, fourth, and seventh round pick, and they got another first round pick. They took a wide receiver. Yeah. With Percy Harvin gone, they, they, they brought in, what, Greg Jennings? Yeah, they brought in Greg Jennings. They brought in Greg Jennings, Jennings for the Packers. He's, he'll be a decent addition, but now since they have this other wide receiver, they'll add a little versatility to Christian, yeah. Christian Ponder. Take, a little, take a little bit off of uh, Adrian Peterson, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let him rest, rest that ACL. Yeah. The pick I hated. I'm going to be. Uh, bottom line, hate's a strong word. I didn't like the pick. EJ Manuel. I look at tape of this kid. Look at tape of this kid. For, he's big. Yeah, he's big. He's a great athlete. I don't think the arm strength was there. Um, personally, I did not like the quarterbacks in this draft class. Whether you want to, you want to point out Matt, Matt Barkley, you want to point out Ryan Nassib, uh, Mike Glennon from NC State. I didn't like these quarterbacks. Geno Smith, whoever. Um, I really think EJ Manuel, 16th overall to the... Uh, Bills was not a great pick. I know they need a quarterback. I know that. Um, Geno Smith, you could have gotten. They should have pushed a little bit harder to get Alex Smith because I really think they could have gotten him. I mean, I, I really didn't like these picks. I didn't like this draft class that much. Once you got past the third round, there wasn't a lot of star potential. There wasn't. There wasn't a lot of star potential. And I can't really envision a lot of these players being stars in the NFL. I know there are only a couple of stars in every draft class. Sometimes there aren't even any. And I think that would be this draft class where there really aren't any. You know, I think it's a product. We're spoiled by last year's draft. Last yeah, year's spoiled. draft was last year. That was, that that was, was one of the strongest. Class. But I think EJ Manuel, I think, out of all the quarterbacks, I think he showed the most poise, the best attitude. And he was a leader. He was probably the best He's leader. He was a proven leader. leader. And when, when you see interviews, I mean, he conducts himself well. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Reminds me, I mean... Personality wise, a lot like Russell Wilson. I would say so. The only thing I would say about that is the skill really isn't there. I mean, yeah. Russell Wilson, yes. the only reason yeah. Russell Wilson, you have to remember, dropped that low it was, was because he had not just that, he had five very capable starting quarterbacks drafted before him. Yeah. Look at Andrew Luck, sure. Ryan Tannehill. Look at all these guys. Russell Wilson in this year's draft, I think personally, would have been the number two overall pick, except for Luke Jokel or the kid out of. Um, where was this kid Eric Fisher. Eric Fisher. Without them, Russell I think overall. Russell Wilson is a top three pick in this year's draft. Great player, great athlete. He played yeah. baseball at North Carolina State. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are definitely athletes in this draft. I don't know if there's a lot of star potential, but Luke, you want to introduce our next topic? Yeah, we're going to, we're going to transition to baseball right now. We the start of the MLB too yeah. long ago. We want to talk about the Yankees. They had a great start. No one was expecting that, right, with all the injuries start. coming in? I Dude, mean, uh, let me tell you, I'm a, personally, I'm a Yankee fan. You see Derek Jeter go down. You see everyone start to go down to share in the World Baseball Classic. Even if A-Rod isn't a... Now, you know this. You know this. You guys know this. Even if A-Rod isn't a big producer, he's a Hall of Famer. A-Rod's a Hall of Famer. Well... Maybe. If he's take out the steroids. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The guy's going to hit 20 home runs a year, though. Steroids or not. Well, and you know about this season, season. right? He didn't hit 20 last year. Yeah. Or the year before. I mean, Jake, what do you think about this? I mean, these guys are doing well. I... I they're having a terrific start. I mean, hands down, it's a tremendous start with all the injuries. I mean, Kevin Euclid, they signed them this off season. I personally like the pick, the the Acquisition. signing. Yeah, but he went down. Uh, Eduardo Nunez has come up in the clutch. Um, he went down. Derek Jeter, they're missing the leader. Derek Jeter, he's down. Uh, a Rod, I mean, he's still Im important to the team. He went down. I mean, the start is. Crazy, and I hope it continues. For you. I think it's all the mentality. I think 
they're the next man up mentality. You know, one guy goes down, the next guy who's filling in for that um, guy, I mean, he's producing. And I think Joe Girardi is doing a great job. Um, great job, man.